Hi everyone and welcome to today's Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Petrina Wisdom, your Fresh Start Specialist and CEO Founder of Mindful Living Inc. and Hands of Comfort Foundation. Um, I'm really excited to be here as usual on this Wednesday morning um, talking about today awakening mindful relationships. You know it's the end of the year and aside from really taking a look and reflecting and evaluating the professional goals that I have you know accomplished or not accomplished within the past year another thing that I really take time out for at the end of the year is to really reassess my relationships my uh, progress my growth personally and um, with that, I decided to go ahead and use mindful relationships as the topic for today's Wisdom Wednesdays. So hopefully some of this hits home with you. Uh, it's definitely the time of year where we want to see where we've been, reevaluate where we are, and then start planning where we're going. So our first tip for today is that the people around you, excuse me, the people you surround yourself with will either light your fire or blow out your flame. So you must be mindful about the way others' energies are affecting you, but you must also be cognizant of how your energy is affecting other people. See, people definitely come into your life for different reasons, right? Everyone's probably heard that saying that people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And so I know for me, I'm constantly taking a look at what I'm meant to learn, what is the gift in each relationship that I engage in, and it's really important not only to look for how that relationship is, is serving you, but also to be very aware of how you're contributing in a relationship as well, whether it be positively contributing or negatively contributing. And there are definitely times when you have someone in your life that you very much adore, but that you see some of your issues clash with some of the issues or challenges that they're still healing from. And it, in my opinion, humble opinion, it's our responsibility to not only protect us, not only to protect ourselves from triggering and uh, maybe taking a couple of steps back in our personal growth, but it's also our responsibility to be very aware of how our energies are affecting other people and where, what it is that we're triggering, triggering in them with certain things that we do, with ways that we respond, with things that we say, because our tongues can be very lethal. Um, our energies can be lethal. There are times when uh, that nonverbal communication screams so much louder than actual words. Point number two for today is acknowledge that allowing someone into your life is a privilege. Michael Bayesden says, value your time and space and guard your peace of mind like a precious gem. I don't know about you, but as a mother of four, a single mother of four, an entrepreneur, my peace of mind is the of ultimate importance to me. It's the thing that keeps me grounded and sane so that I can properly guide and direct my children so that I can adequately give to my, my clients in business. So it's really important for us to get to know ourselves, to know what energies we can and cannot tolerate depending on where it is in our life that we are and the things that we already have to deal with. Um, we have choices. We have boundaries that we can set. We hear a lot about non-negotiables, right? Just knowing what serves you in your energy and what is going to be more depleting and uh, draining of your energy. And our last tip for today is know when to take a stand for someone else. Sometimes our desire to be loved or love clouds our ability to make sound decisions. So I talk a lot about taking a stand for ourselves, taking a stand for yourself. But there are times also when you have to take a stand for someone else and lovingly release them um, if you know that your role in their life is not serving them in some way. It's a very mindful, mature, uh, sometimes painful way to go through life. However, my firm belief is that I'm here to be the highest good to myself and to everyone that I touch in my life. And I want to leave each person who passes through my life um, even better than I found them. 
So I hope that this Wisdom Wednesday has served you in some way, giving you some things to think about as you move forward into the end of 2013 and start really preparing for 2014 and what you want to create and what you want to manifest into your life. And with that, I want to say uh, I'm here for you. Everything I do, everything I experience, I, I, I'm really in the moment and learning and asking questions so that I can share with you my journey and, and things that I feel will help you through your journey. So um, if this is serving you or if you're intrigued or if you have questions, comments, feedback, please email me, coaching at patrinawisdom.com. Uh, and if you're someone out there who feels like you need some support for you know to, to start making your fresh starts, to start creating your fresh start, or maybe to sort out exactly what your fresh start even looks like, then um, I want to encourage you to contact me for a discovery session and see if maybe there's some jewels within you that you haven't discovered. All right? Again, visit PetrinaWisdom.com. Connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, all of it. Uh, and I just hope you have a beautiful, brilliant day and that you know that it's your birthright to live with passion and purpose. So give yourself permission to live your best life, whatever that takes, whatever that means. I'm here for you. Namaste.